imagine a time when these tools were new and when this mine was bustling with workers. When you tour the Britannia Mine Museum, you don't have to dream it, you can live it. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Heather. Hi, thanks for having me oh, to the museum. Oh, I'm so excited that you came to visit. I'm very excited. You guys are celebrating 110 years. We are, 110 years of discovery in Britannia Beach and the museum has lots of activities for you to explore and our guests this summer. First opened in 1904, it appears time is at a standstill at this authentic museum sprawling with history. Well, this is the Beattie Lundeen Visitor Center, and in this building we have a number of exhibits that put mining in context. Tools of the trade help share what it was like to be a miner, some more hands-on than others. <laughs> Heather, in here we have our modern mining exhibits. It's an opportunity for people to discover modern mining in context. It's an important first stop on your trip through time. This exhibit helps brighten the often dim subject. The fact is, is if you don't grow it, you must mine it, and you cannot imagine a world without mining. And you just have to think about that for a moment to know that's true. Once outside, you'll explore 18 buildings and historic sites in their original place. Each played a significant role in the operation of one of the largest copper-producing mines of the British Commonwealth in the 1920s and 30s. Heading into the conveyor shed, you'll discover a collection of 110 historic photos, a new exhibit to mark this year's milestone. In 70 years of operation, the Britannia Mine had 60,000 people that called it home, and so you can imagine there's lots of stories. From there, we climb the stairs to the most popular attraction. All right. Hi guys, welcome. Hi. Here's your hard hats for the Thanks tour. Very much. Hard hats on, we're ready to go. We board the train and prepare to head deep into the mine. Okay ladies, hard hats on at all times. Hands and feet inside the train at all times, and please feel free to ask questions whenever you'd like. Rolling through the authentic 1912 tunnel, it's chilly and damp. Signs of copper still in the walls, there's no doubt this is the real deal. All right, ladies, so that is the end of our train ride. If I could have you both exit to the right-hand side of the train. The adventure far from over, we're guided to the drilling chamber where our interpreter explains tools used in the tunnel, complete with a loud demonstration. In a one eight hour shift, they would be mandated to drill 30 to 35 holes. After they were done that, they would selectively fill these holes with dynamite, hop on the train, light the fuse, and hope that no one was left underground. <laughs> All right, ladies, come on down. I'm going to be explaining this machine first and foremost. The tour of the mine is expansive, complete with several different demonstrations. Nothing is left to the imagination. From there, you'll head indoors to explore what lies behind the walls of this famous 20-story structure. All right, ladies, so welcome to mill number three, an engineering masterpiece for its time, as you can see. So this building has a grand total of 376 stairs. Catching a glimpse of what took place within this historic site, the experience is eye-opening and important to understand. It's a part of our history that gives people insight into how province and country was built. Um, it's a real authentic place. As the museum celebrates 110 years, there's sure to be something for you to discover on your adventure through time. From the Britannia Mine Museum, I'm Heather Butts for Shaw TV.